Hey, everybody. So I picked up more artwork from that shop that I had work at. And this is one of my original um, hammer smashes um, before YouTube and before I even tried a mallet. Um, but I still had my flingies. These, I think these ones oftentimes looks like flowers. These to me look like insects, um, which is cool still. Um, oh, and as for my frame addiction, check this out. This is getting ridiculous. But check out this awesome frame. It's like so cool. And this I can just paint right on. What I'll probably do is I will either cut a board that'll fit right in here or I'll just paint over this. But, oh my gosh, I've got like the coolest frames. Check this one out. <laughs> I mean, the picture's so cheesy. Oh my god, I'm totally addicted to frames. Anyhow. Alright. So, I already covered the canvas with white paint. I um, had just mixed up new paint, so I wanted to make sure it was a good consistency. So, I have already uh, poured the white over. And it's my Dutch Boy white paint with uh, Floetrol and water. And in my live video last night, I was doing my pour and I did not like how it was going. Um, but I had had to move everything up to my kitchen because I was getting no Wi-Fi to do a live in the basement. So I had none of my usual tricks, anything to do anything with, all I had was a paper towel roll. So I puddled and I did like a swirl. And this is what resulted. Um, and I tilted it. And that's what resulted, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to try that on. So I've got Arteza Bordeaux Red. And I made these paints a little thicker because we were discussing that on my live last night that maybe my paints have gotten a little too thin lately. You can tell how much thicker this is because usually it falls in. Ah, there's a hair in there though. I like something fuzzy. That was a dog hair. Mmm, dog hair. Oh, I forgot to name the rest of the colors. <laughs> this is Artist Love Deep Magenta. Um, the yellow was Arteza Lemon Yellow. And the blue was Arteza Thalo Blue. Alrighty. I didn't put as much paint on, so there was not as much to tilt. So I may need to add some more paint. 
I hate working with it thicker though because it takes so much longer to tilt. So you could see that it was kind of given like tree, tree ring kind of look. I'm impatient. So I'm going to do an airbrush because, well, gosh, no, I'm just, I'm going to add a little bit more and try it again. I'm so impatient. I found a video on YouTube today that's, uh, the woman is showing how to do Shelly's technique. Um, and the video starts, it's a, it's a long uh, prelude with, I guess there's a lot of infighting within the pouring community about her technique or about paying versus not paying. Um, I tend to keep to myself in the community, which is probably, I don't know if that's good or bad, because I do like networking, but I'm also not great at it. So I didn't even know there was like a whole to-do going on, but anywho, the point of my story is I really want to watch the video to see how she's doing it, and she's using a little bit different product. Um, and so far, I've tried to watch the video like three times, and I'm just, and I'm just, my brain is just like, boing, 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 and I wanted to go downstairs and paint, and so I'm like, ugh. So later tonight, once I've painted, and once I'm all nice and calm, <laughs> then I will watch it again. Okay, so this is looking better. This is looking like something we can work with. I want to tilt this off the end and then back up. I'd like to try and tilt it in a circle if that's possible. But yeah, I really wanted to keep watching the video, but then my desire to paint was so strong. I'm like, I really want to paint, but I want to see how she's doing this. So all I got was like 10 minutes in where she's still discussing the, the infighting in the pouring world. Which as I said, I was not privy to because I don't pay attention. So these art's very cool. I, as I said, my friend bought the course and described it to me a little bit, um, but described it like typing out the words. And I think without actually seeing what's going on, I, I was like, that sounds really complicated. I could not understand. But I, I don't get why there would be fighting. I don't know what there is to fight about. It's artwork. But we're humans. It is in our DNA to fight. See, when I make it thick, the paint stays, you know, because had this been thinner, like last night, it would have just gone whoosh and just slid right off the canvas, like, like oil on a slide. I don't know. I have no saying for that. But since we're talking about my patience level, sometimes, some days I have tons and tons and tons of patience. And it's different, like with my job, I have patience, but when it comes to creativity, my mind is almost always working two steps ahead of my physical body. <laughs> I 
not like the bold pink magenta stripe across the middle. I want this more spread out. I'm going to see if tilting it this way does that. I'm not sure if tilting this way will spread it out or scrunch it up. you can still see. It's not even moving. Moving oh so slowly. And my husband just got home. Okay, it is moving. Yay. It's definitely moving. It's even picking up speed, I think. didn't even do anything. It's so thick that even me shaking it like that did nothing. Alright, so maybe I need to thin it a little bit. So darn, I'm working like vertically right now. And nothing really is happening. Is this how thick most artists paint us? I really do need to watch more. All the white cells that's it's creating some interesting effects since since it's taking so long along this journey that look at all this that's happened. here and I kind of like it because it looks like an animal. to move these lines. That's not really going to do it. not going to do it. No. It wants to stay here. See, I really would have loved to gotten those to spread out more.
you know, the more I am, you know, it's being taken over by white. And I don't like that. So I'm actually going, I'm going to take you back over here, plug you back in, and do something else with this because I, it's just taken, there's just too much of that white paint coming, eating all my colors again, and this time the paint's thick. So, and this is a mixture of Arteza, Arte titanium white and um, house paint. I do like, I did like when I used the uh, Artist Loft um, fluid flow acrylic white. I did like that actually. Try and keep some of the color because I would like to try the airbrush. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. Say it. I tilt it this way, which is the opposite of the way I would normally.
I kind of even like it with this little wayward. Um, color. God, that blue is phenomenal. It is Arteza Thalo blue. Oh, so pretty. Yay, this I'm super happy about. Maybe I don't like this though. It's okay if I have the hints of it. I just don't want that big of a thing. Very, very, very happy now. Zero silicone, by the way. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye.